Hello, family, and good morning. We're so glad that you're with us today. This is our third installment of Foods from England. And if you've been watching, I hope you've been enjoying it. And this one is, is like our dinner idea. It's very simple. You're going to make just a plain little stew, no potatoes, just ground beef, onion, and carrots. Let it cook. Pour a little beef in there, a little seasonings. Remember, go to ctvn.org, and you're going to find the recipe there. And then after you do that, you let it cook. Then you make mashed potatoes, and you just pile them on top. This is, like, awesome. I love the English because they like their taties. <laughs> and they're, they're a wonderful, great nation. Many of our finest spiritual leaders of the past came from England. We've talked about that, and we've sensed that there's been a time when maybe we don't feel like they're living as close to the Lord as we would like, like all nations had kind of gotten away from their commitment to God. And that's really, you know, he created everything that's on this earth, and he created all of us and them too. So I have a special guest that I want to show you. That's why I'm cutting my cooking part a little, a little uh, shorter today. Now, once you get this done, just sprinkle it with some cheddar cheese, Put it in a 350-degree oven for about a half hour. You want the potatoes to be piping hot, and you want that cheese to be golden. So we're going to do that. But let me introduce you to my very special guest today. This is a lady that I love dearly. She's a wonderful pastor. She's a woman of God. This is Pastor Connie Brooks from Jubilee Ministries International. And we, she's been with us before. And Connie, I thought about you when we were talking about England. Uh -huh. First of all, how are you? I'm doing good. Just got home wonderful. last night. <laughs> I know, and I, I know this, this is a sacrifice from where you came from to where you are here this morning, but I appreciate you coming because I know you have a heart and a passion for what God is doing in the earth today. And I know that you go to England quite often and right. minister there. What, what, what are you picking up in the spirit that's going on in England? Well, I've been going for 16 years. I've been going to England, and I host a conference there every year. Okay. I, I'm getting ready to go in March. March, I'll be there from the 11th to the 24th. Wow, that's a long conference, um, too. When I go to England, I noticed there was a hunger for the gifts, a passion for the prophetic. Um, yeah. The services were packed every night. People really wanting to know about the prophetic, wanting to know about the laying on of hands. Mm -hmm. And we saw such a move of God in the churches that we were so determined we were going to go back. Uh, but we didn't know how or how yeah. the Lord was going to do it. And about six months after going, the door opened okay. to go back into the churches and to go back and host the conference. Now, the churches, when you talk about the church, we're not talking about the cathedrals or the established church, are you? No, a lot of those churches are not even functioning in the capacity they used to. Wow. What you find in England now, the African churches are growing predominantly. They're the largest churches right now. Um, you find a lot of the West Indian churches. One of the churches that I work with um, is Dr. Jennifer Brown, who's out of Jamaica, okay. but has a very large congregation there. Mm. Um, Dr. Francis, many of the churches now are, are built on the African background and also the West Indian. West Indies, okay. Then so, the charismatic so churches. What, what are they, they're hungering for the gifts. And so I know where is Pastor Gary saw us because she knows about Pastor Gary. He's, he really was a, a mentor for you. Yes, he is my pastor. He still. is, yes. yeah. But he always says that the Holy Spirit goes where he's invited. Yes. And I know that in your services, you would invite him. So what has he been doing as far as the manifestation of those gifts? Well, when, you, when you're dealing with a lot of so many cultures in England, you're dealing with a lot of witchcraft and a lot mm. of things that are going on. So when, when the Holy Spirit leads you, you see the manifestation, you see the healings Hallelujah. that are taking place. People's lives, the last service I had was a month, I was in England about a month and a half ago. And the deliverance that took place in the services were amazing. Praise People God. sitting in churches for years but never understood that deliverance was the children's bread. Healing uh, is the absolutely. children's bread. Absolutely. And so we got to see the manifestation of healing and deliverance in every service. So while everybody thinks that nothing's going on, oh. there is a, a real revival. Under, it's almost there like is. an undercurrent, Karen. isn't it? There's Absolutely. an undercurrent, God's just manifesting himself and showing himself big and strong. Absolutely. England, there is a revival. Hallelujah. Uh, I work out of Tottenham, London, and uh, my brother-in-law is in Birmingham, but my husband's originally from England. Okay. So we're able, we were just in Scotland. 
And so we were able to see the move of God in these areas because I thought the same thing. It looks dead. It looks yeah, like nothing's, nothing's happening. happening. Yeah. And so when people began to invite me into the churches, I'm like, no. And what was so amazing, Arlene, the people, I'm here in the pulpit preaching and they're standing right there. Oh, that close. They're not sitting down. Uh -huh. They are so excited Hungry. about the anointing and the move of God that they get totally involved. Aren't in what you're doing. So I'm excited. Aren't you thankful that God chose you? <laughs> I mean, don't you say, am, God, I why do you choose me? But he had a purpose because he birthed that in you. Well, see, the first thing is I don't like long distance flying. You know, okay, yeah. so when God started sending me Across on these the seven pond, hours and 17 hours, I go to also Johannesburg. I know. So when God started sending me to England, the first thing I thought, seven hours. <laughs> and now I do it like nothing. Like it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. It's and nothing. And now it's like I'm going home or I'm just taking a trip. But when you get there and you feel the pull, wow. you know, um, it's almost like an expectation. Yes. And when they pull on you, you're excited to preach. Yeah, you, you want You know, to, in, sure. in America, we have become kind of complacent. Mm -hmm. You laid know, back. yes, laid back, praise, you know, do it for me. Yeah. But in England, what we're finding is the people are so hungry that they come, they stand, they're waiting, they're waiting. for you. Oh, they get to church early. They're God sitting there do. when you walk in the door. And when they do praise and worship, they're on their feet. Oh. They're excited. The men are praise standing God. there. So it's an exciting well, you know, time. We only have about a minute here. Could I ask you to pray? And let me agree with you to pray for England, okay? Yes. You would know the prayer, the bright prayer to pray. Father, we ask you today as we come Hallelujah. before you for England, for all of the people that are there from around the country and Jesus. around the world. God, for the manifestation of revival Jesus, to hit that country Jesus. like never before. It, God, as you've laid it on Arlene's heart to talk oh, about God. England, I today command the blessings, Hallelujah. the breakthrough to take place. Yes, that Lord. God, that America will see the revival in that birthplace, Lord God, Jesus. where you raised up many, Lord God, to yes. do the work of the kingdom. And today we're asking you to bring a greater revival that Hallelujah. will hit England like never Hallelujah. before. Do Souls it, will be saved, delivered, and set free. Churches will be ignited yes, again. Lord. The fire would fall fall in London and throughout England, Thank Birmingham, you, Stafford, Cambridge as never before. And God, we're thanking you right now for the manifestation, name, Lord, Lord God. This is the year of grace and favor and yes. we're looking forward, Do Lord God, Lord. for Hallelujah. your grace and favor to flow through the islands, thank over you, the God. pond, to our families around the country and around the world. We Praise thank you God. and we bless you now in thank Jesus' you, name. Jesus. Hey, Amen. Man, I Amen. agree. I agree. And I expect there to be a gracious outpouring of God's so. power to bring a revival. Well, thank you for being here. You're going to come back and have a prayer time with us, yes, okay? Yes, I at sure the end. will. All right, and now we're going to be back with more of Real Life in just a moment. Well, we just learned. We've been calling this shepherd's pie in our home. Yes. Now we've learned that shepherd's pie is... It's the same pie made with lamb. With lamb. But this is not shepherd's pie. This is? Cottage pie. Cottage pie. And it's because you use beef. Yeah. Is that right? You use mm. beef. Beef is the distinguishing, but it's basically the same, very oh. same thing. And if you want to, would you like to serve yourself some? Oh, Just sure. get a little. Right. This is great for like a warm, a <laughs> cold. Well, for a cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. I'm, so going, I, I'm going to serve Connie. Yeah, okay. Oh, look, she's putting peas on the plate. Well, well you that's know what why? You do. Because that's, not that's mushy very. Peas they're not mushy peas, right? <laughs> mushy peas. <laughs> okay, and, and Dawn, I know that you really like rice pudding. I do like rice pudding. So I'm going to go ahead and just hand you. Do I get the whole okay. thing? Well, you can oh, taste. Wow. I get to taste the whole thing. You can taste. Mm, but we, we, we don't double dip. See, one of the other mm. lessons, folks, you we don't, don't double dip. No Is double dipping allowed no in my dipping. kitchen. I, I've been taught well. No mm -hmm. double dipping. Mm -hmm. Is it oh, good? Nice. Very good. good. Very good. Yeah, There's some so kind of simple. spices in it. Yes. It's very mm. simple. It's just the basic things. There's nothing mm. unusual mm -hmm. or, you know, that just has a little touch. I have a few raisins in there, which enhances the flavor. Oh, it's very and good. And cinnamon, mm. too. Now, the Here, recipe. You guys have a bite. <laughs> if we had 4D television, have Would a bite. That'd be nice, huh? It's very, very but remember, tasty. Remember, the recipes are on uh, ctvn.org. You can go there. And I appreciate my, my very special guest yes. oh, yes. being with us Thank today you. and her prayer for England mm -hmm. and, Thank you and for what coming. she's experiencing. It's just powerful. It's oh, really powerful. That's well, awesome. Arlene, thank you for preparing us and Absolutely. for leading us in this. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll eat later. I know you will. We're going to eat later. <laughs> but we're going to come in just a few minutes. We're going to go pray. Pray for all the prayer requests. If you've called in, you can count on us that we're going to pray, pray for you and we're going to continue to pray for you and watch what God's doing in your life because yeah. he's, mo he's moving miraculously all over the world, including here in Pittsburgh. Amen. But before we do that, let's, let's wait and see what's coming up on tomorrow's Real, Real Life. Life.